So many of the bits and pieces of life, so small, so interesting, all in here. We used to collect skulls, specimens, that kind of stuff. We just had them at our house, kind of decor. Just thought it was cool looking, you know, interesting. Then one day we kind of just decided that we would start trying to do it ourselves. They've died of natural causes. Like I had a guy come in here the other day and he brought me um, like a nine foot red tail boa, you know, and you just, you never know who's gonna walk through the door and, and have something for you, so. This is one that he owned probably that died. Yeah, it was his pet. He's had it in the freezer for so long. This was a custom thing for a customer. It's a, some uh, oriental tarantula. Um, it's really cool. It was like one of his first tarantulas and we're bringing it back to life rather than something that would be thrown in a dumpster, you know, it's what we do is is artistic. It's not meant to be gross or cruel or anything like that. It's what we do is definitely a niche market. There's really not anything like this in a very wide like radius. We live nearby and we were walking around and saw it was really intriguing. There's no way to not um, be interested in it. <laughs> really cool stuff you don't see every day like those giant kudu horns. Those are great, like a warthog skull. That's a bat skull. It's pretty cool, so you get like a raw skull and you have to like take out its eyes and its brain and its tongue and all that stuff, let it dry out, put it in the tank with the beetles, and then they eat it. Within like 24 hours, it's like, it's a cleaned skull. What are you guys thinking? I really want to buy something just for like drawing reference. Cause we're both art majors, so we're like illustrators. We draw skulls a lot, and so it'd be really interesting to draw like animal skulls. I just turned 21 on Tuesday. And then how old is he? He's 25. And you guys got your own business and it's rolling. Yeah. How does that feel? <laughs> it's, it's amazing. I mean, you know, I'm constantly like shocking people when they're like, you own a business and you're only 21 years old? I'm like, yeah. This guy's really cool. I love him. He's a big uh, old bearded dragon and stuff like that. See, you can, I, when I fix them in the formalin, you put something like in its mouth so its mouth will stay open like that forever and it gives it like a whole different look. The jarred animals, some of them just have like the most peaceful look on their face. It's kind of interesting. But quite interesting and very unusual this place. What was that? Uh oh, on Stafford Street, Mark Holmberg, CBS 6 News.